welcome to Canada's West Coast, Vancouver, British Columbia, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Zabalski. Puck drop just moments away. Quick thought before we get things underway here in the postseason. The veterans will be excited. The rookies will be so nervous as they all get set to drop the puck for the first time in the playoffs this year. Opening face-off just moments away. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Pokes the puck away. Miller's got it along the wing. Now a quick pass to Schmidt. Way off target. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. The Canucks have it behind the net. On the doorstep, he scores! Elias Pedersen! Wow! It's a long series, but it's always nice to get the first goal of the series. They're in the back of the net first. Vancouver's got a quick goal here early in this first period, and with it, a different energy in this crowd. Everybody gets ramped up a little bit. You score early, you hope you can. Now you have, you go get another. The Canucks have it against the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Vancouver's on the attack. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. There goes the whistle. No extra attacker able to get there in time. The Wild have been penalized for slashing. He was about halfway through that swing, James, and the official had his arm in the air. Would have been at least a base hit in your days as a ball player. Uh, that might have been more than that. The Canucks get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. Here's their first power play of the night, James, and they can be patient on it. They want to get the good shot, not just start firing puck after puck at the net. Vancouver's got it along the wall. Blocked in traffic. He was locked in there. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Vancouver's got it behind the net. Quick feed to Pearson. Into the attacking end. Look out! Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. From the right side, takes the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Wild have gained possession under man. Gets it out of his own end. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. Rodin's getting two for tripping. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit, try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Biggest problem a five-on-three power play has is that everybody realizes what a great advantage it is. So everybody stands there waiting to shoot the puck. Nothing happens when the puck moves slowly. Can't connect! Gets in front of it. Here's a shot and another stop! Oh, he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Vancouver's had the shot advantages, and they also have the lead. Erickson X won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they get it down. That good communication. They talk to each other. They're in the right spot. They just clear it down the ice. Puck picked up by Horvath. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick pass to Myers. Scores on the puck! Uh, they use the manpower advantage to get to the puck, move it around quickly, and cash in.
This is a tough shot. You don't have a lot of room because the goaltender can use his whole upper body to make the save. High stick, he gets beat again. That's a nice shot. Vancouver still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Minnesota's won the draw. Goal. Score on the power play by number The Canucks nine. scoop it up along the boards. Besser's got it in the defensive end. Here he is on the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. Vancouver's regained possession of the puck. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Takes it to the net. Stopped by the goaltender. Hamannick's got control of the puck in the corner. They fight for it along the boards. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Too many bodies in the way. Good hit on the play. Minnesota's got it against the boards. Erickson X been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. There's the whistle. Here's the call from the officials. Hamannick's getting called for tripping on the play. Like every player in the history of the game, he doesn't like the call, but he's going to have to go <laughs> serve his minor penalty. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the faceoff. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. Quick feed to Spurgeon. Denies him! I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Still lots of time left in the period. Vancouver's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Dishes it to Fiala. Fails to find the open man. Moves it to Zuccarello. Nothing doing on that. Across the line from center. Puck sent over to Johansson. Moves it to Zuccarello. Moving to the middle. Here he is with the backhander. They score! Good effort on the puck to get into the zone clean and then set it up and are able to cash in. Oh, the goaltender's tracking this well, James, till it hits the defender's stick. It changes the arc. He can't get to it. It's in the net. The Wild have found their offense. Now you wonder if we're going to get a shootout here tonight. It's on the way to being that. They cut the lead in half. Still lots of time left in this first period. Greenway's going to play it against the half wall. Good defensive effort to poke it away. By number 90, Marcus Johansson. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. Picked up along the boards by Suter. And now it's grabbed by Pearson. Centered out in front, and they can't connect. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Knocks the puck loose. The Canucks have it from their own end. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. The Canucks will play it from the corner. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Smart defensive play there. Puck scooped up by Brodeen. And here's the pass to Zuccarello. And he slides it quickly to Rask. They've got numbers. Finds nothing but air on that shot. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. To the front. Stopped by the goaltender. Pokes it away. Excellent hand-eye coordination. Keeps hold of the puck. Scrum along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And that one's turned away. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. 
Vancouver's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Buck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends the pass over. Passes it to Benino. Misses over the net. Grabbed along the board by Hamannick. Miller's got the puck along the wing. And we've got a two-on-one. Moves it quickly over to Pedersen. And that banks off a stick. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Moves the puck into the attacking area. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. The Canucks lead it here late this first period. Minnesota's won the draw in the neutral zone. And they'll dump it in. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Here's a shot, and that goes wide. Here's a short pass to Benino. And he denied that opportunity. Here in the late going to the frame, Vancouver's up 2-1, and the crowd has been enjoying this one. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Hughes takes it across the line. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Johansson's got the puck. Taken by Roussel. Moves the puck up to Sutter. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Takes a shot with the stop. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The setters will glide into the dot. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Sends a pass over. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Right to the middle, and that one's broken up. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Comes up with the stop. Good save. Positional save through traffic. Nice zone entry from the middle. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Through center along the wing. Puck dumped in. That's the end of the first period, and a pretty good one at that. Join our fan club and receive a membership card, discounts on team merchandise, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events. Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. Both teams had a chance to recharge, and the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Minnesota's won it. Puck grabbed by Suter. On the attack along the boards. Maintains possession. Centered out in front. He scores! And a big one from there! That's a pretty critical goal in the playoffs here. It's his first ever. Passes on and off his stick in an instant. No stopping it, one-timing it so it's in the net. The Wild have given us a new game here early in the second as they have tied things up. Worked hard to get themselves back into this position to make it a new game. Puck picked up by Suter. Takes the pass from the left wing. Rask's looked good tonight. He's already got the one goal. He's looking for another. And that's broken up. Slides it diagonally to Besser. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Good defensive stop with the poke check. And he regains control of the puck. Trying to get back on the attack now. Puck scooped up by Zuccarello. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him in front. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Moves the puck. The Canucks move to the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck. Here's an odd man rush. Excellent stick work on the play. Takes it right in the chest. And this is a chance we saw just moments ago. The odd man break puts the goaltender on alert. He has to follow the puck, find the pass, and he makes the stop. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Knocked off the puck. Wrist shot from the slot. Blocked in traffic. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Quick pass to Pearson. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Sends the pass across the ice. Puck picked up in the open ice. Big time hit against the boards. Tell me this, what would you rather take, against the wall or against the open ice? Oh, no, I want it up against the wall, but you got to get close. If you're a foot or two away, you bounce like a basketball. Big collision. Quick feed to Fiala. Good heads-up play in the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. Can't catch up to the pass. Gains the zone on the left wing. Vancouver's got control of the puck. The Canucks looking against the half wall. Wrists one. Oh, and he was that close from putting it in. Things happen so quickly. He wants to deliver that puck quickly and accurately. He only got half of it right. Game of inches. And now he moves it quickly to Russell. Slides the pass over to Myers. Receives the pass. Moves it to Mont. Here he is in front. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. Yeah, I'd like to see that again. He knocked the change out of his pants right there. Watch this hit right now. Doesn't get better than that. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Gets a hold of the puck. From center, they get into the attacking area. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Parisi. Into the offensive end now. Vancouver's got possession at center. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Parisi. Sends it in deep. The Canucks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Wax it into the offensive zone. Minnesota's got the puck along the boards. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Along the half wall with the puck. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Hangs onto the puck. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Benino's got it against the boards. Couldn't make that one happen. Takes the pass. Here's a short pass to Horvat. The Wild have possession along the boards. Vancouver's got possession here in the neutral zone. Passes over to Horvat. Handles the puck from the left side. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Way too much congestion blocks that. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Now we'll get a look back at the period here. And what the one standout is, is how physically these two rivals have played each other. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. It's all tied up. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Jabs the puck away. Quick pass to Dumba. Couldn't find the intended target. Vancouver's got it into the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Great poke check on the reach. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. 
And a poke check knocks the puck away. Pinned up along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Fiala's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. There's the whistle. And let's hear what the official's explanation on this one is. The Canucks will serve two minutes in the box. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty box. Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. There's sometimes you need to make adjustments in-game. I don't think they have to. They've already scored on the power play. They'll get another one right here. Sends it over to Sutter. And now he angles it across to Adler. From the left side, takes it at center. Manages to hang on. He grabs the puck here at the point. Shot with the stop. Save made by the goalie. Nice work in there after the first stop. He's got to find the puck to save the second. Quick feed. Scores! The go-ahead goal! Uh, this game has been tight. Now somebody's got a leg up. successful. Dead center, in the slot. He doesn't miss. The Wild have a timely goal here late in this second period. Uh, now the goal is to get into the intermission with this lead. This is a huge momentum shift in the game. Pass to Eriksson Ek. Moves it to Foligno. Strong defensive effort. The Canucks have it against the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Pokes it away in his own end. Musa quickly over to Schmidt and tries to make a diagonal pass to Besser. The backhand gives them nothing in front. Handles the pass from the right side. From one point man to another. Misses over the net. Here's a chance right out in front. Fantastic save. Loose puck battle along the boards. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And now it's grabbed by Greenway. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. And that pass goes awry. Taken by Greenway. Vancouver's regained possession of the puck. They go on the attack through center. They've got the defense outnumbered. Stays with it. That one's off the blocker. Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Takes the feed. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Willamette's Recycling is a proud sponsor of tonight's game. Willamette's Recycling recycles enough paper to save more than 41 million trees. If you'd like to know more about their services, check out the website. The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James. Third period action, ready to go. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? The Canucks have done a lot right, James. They just haven't been able to get themselves even in this game. They trail, but I don't think they should do much differently. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Minnesota's in transition. Here they are on the attack. Zuccarello's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back pocket. Dangerous player now. Vancouver's got it across the line. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Tosses it on to Rask. Down the right side and into the zone. From the slot, stones him in front. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great 
scoring chance. The centerman glide into position. Minnesota's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. The Canucks have it now. Gets the puck over to Horvat. The Canucks play it along the wing. Keeps hold of the puck. And he can't get it off. Puck grabbed by Dumba. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. Minnesota's on the attack. Nice poke check. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And it's a quick pass to Pearson. Big save. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Takes the feed. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Brodeen's got it in the offensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. They fight for it along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Roussel. Into the attacking area from the left side. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Taken along the wall by Brodeen. Puck picked up by Fiala. Here he is in close. Turns it away. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. From the point, they take control of it. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Slides it to Fiala. And that puck leaves the zone. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. The Canucks take possession in the neutral zone. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Strong defensive effort. Moves it over to Benino. Moves it around along the half wall. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. The Canucks move it in. It's a two-on-one. Right in the slot, over the net. Well, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Stop by the goaltender. Really solid shift here. Their puck possession game. They scores! They tie it up! Well, they've been working hard to get this game back to level, and that goal will do it. The good thing he one times his puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Vancouver's got a little mojo back on their step after that goal here in the third. You work and you try and keep yourself light, you keep yourself aggressive, but if nothing happens for you, it gets pretty heavy. They feel good now. Throws it in. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. And the puck's not loose. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Move to the middle. Here's a shot. Scores! What a shot! A minute between goals. Wow, insane how quick that was. Bang, bang. Yeah, the defending team just put, put a stake in the ground. They couldn't stop them. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The Canucks have gone ahead here at a critical time in this third period. You can start to see the finish line now. It's still in the distance, but it's getting closer. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. The Canucks take possession here in the open ice. Couldn't complete the play. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And loses possession after a solid hit. Couldn't connect on that pass. Tries to get the puck over to Pedersen. Quick pass to Schmidt. Vancouver's moving it along the wing. Puck battle along the boards. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Miller. Couldn't complete the play. All smart heads are play to poke that one away. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Here 
they come on the attack. Maintains possession. Moves it to Eriksson Ek. Slides the paddle in there and pokes it away. There's another stop. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Demko's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. Vancouver's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Sutter's won it off the faceoff. Right up the gut, here they go. Puck scooped up by Sutter. Great positioning by the defender. Move to the middle, off his stick. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you gotta get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score and you don't even test the goalie. If you can play in this 100 feet of the ice, you're gonna probably win this game. Get the puck into the offensive zone with a simple, smart play. Get after it and try to forecheck. Moves it quickly over to Greenway. Scores! Really good effort here to continue to push along, try and find a way to crack the defense. They've done it, and this game is tied. Absolutely clutch! Really tough for the goalie to read where the heck this thing's going. I'm looking at the shot. I can't tell where it's going, but the backhander beats the goaltender. The Wild have taken a page from my mother's philosophy here, Ray. What's that? Patience is a virtue. Is it? That's what she said. We're tied anyway. Yeah, so now there's two ways to play here. Do you try and win now, or do you push and be safe and try and get it to overtime? Quick pass to Myers. Feeds it over to Pearson. The Canucks are in transition. And he regains control of the puck. Manages to hang on. And they can't convert to the play. into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. The Canucks will play it in their own end. That pass doesn't go. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Late goings of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck off the draw. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Here's a shot and makes the save. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Scooped up along the wall by Benito. Takes the feed and center from the right wing. Great chance in front, and he whiffs on it. Can't connect. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Final minute to go here in the third. And they fail to go tape to tape. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Knocked away. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. Works it across to Erickson. Handles the puck. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. The Wild have the puck against the boards. And now it's grabbed by Mott. Big time stop there. Minnesota's moving it up the ice. Huge steal in his own end. Here's a chance. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Looks to make a play over to Hartman. There's the horn to signal the end of the third period. We are still tied. Do you know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our key player awards are available in the top course in the lower seating level. Overtime action is just moments away. Stay with us. OT should tell us who wins and who loses, and they're ready to get it underway. All right, listen to this place. The electricity so thick you could cut it with a knife. Sudden death over time. The puck is dropped. Let's go. Skates across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. The Canucks played along the boards. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. From behind his own cage, he grabs the puck. 
And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Offense is on faceoff and he wins the draw. And that shot dies in traffic. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Minnesota's across the blue line. With possession along the wall. The Wild have taken possession of their own end. And he coughs it up with the pass. Moves into the slot. Looking to end it. And he denies him with a monstrous save here in overtime. Slides the puck over. The Canucks gain possession along the wall. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Canucks are on the attack. Nice pass. Picked up along the boards by Brodeen. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Swing and a miss. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Into the offensive zone. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Sends the pass over. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. Vancouver's got a hold of it against the wall. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Quick feed to Eric Sinek. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Moves it to Foligno. Quick feed down low. Moved in front, and they can't connect. Roussel's got it across the line. With the steal. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Fiala. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Quick shot denied by the goaltender. Hartman's got it along the boards. Snaps one from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. Big save by the goaltender once again. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. And the puck leaves the zone. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Sends a pass over. Moves the puck. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Tic-tac, kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a... For the win! Oh, what a save to keep it tied! Excellent stick work on the play. Taken by Beagle. Now a quick pass to Erickson. Sends it over to Mott. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Smart defensive play there. Benito's got it along the wing. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Benino. Here's a chance out front, and that's broken up. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Into the attacking end. Puck grab by Mott. The Canucks take it from the side. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Takes the feed from the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Angles it over to Pedersen. Receives the pass. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. And just a little too high on the play. I like the delivery. He just shot it over top of the net. The Canucks have it against the wall. Puck picked up by Schmidt. Slides it across to Besser. And he slides it quickly to Pearson. Puck exits the zone. And now it's over to Pearson. Nice dish from the left wing. Jabs the puck away. Picked up along the wall. But game on a stick. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. Tries to feed it over to Brodeen. 
And now he tries to get it across to Zuccarello. To his teammate! Vancouver's looking to break out of their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Horvat. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Grabs control of it at the point. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. Into the corner now. Puts it up front. Quick pass to Eriksson Ek. Turned that one aside. Jostled off the puck. Taken along the wall by Eriksson Ek. Centering pass. A chance to win it. And he keeps it alive. What a stop. The Canucks take it across the line. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Here's a short pass. A chance for the win. And he comes up with a huge save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. Vancouver's moving it into the offensive end. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Moves it over to Fiala. Strong defensive effort. Stays with it. Tries to the crease. There it is! There it is! They score to win it in overtime! That's all she wrote from this one tonight. They've got the lead in the series now as a result of a little OT magic. Certainly puts them in a great spot here. The series go by quickly in these overtime games. While they still mean the same as a regular time game, they feel like they carry a little more weight. A couple of these OT winners, did you? got a couple in one series. They were fun and they are awesome uh, to help your team win a series. For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. This series will continue on, and we will talk to you then. Good night, everybody.